got to say something Lightweight, step it aside when we come in Feel it in your chest, the syllables get pumping People on the street get panic and start running Words on loose leaf sheet, complete coming I jump on my mind, I summon the rhyme, I'm dumping Healing the blind, I promise to let the sun in Sick of the dark ways, we march to the drumming Jump when they tell us that they want to see jumping Dad, I want to see some fist pumping Lift something, take back what's yours Say something that you know they might attack you for Cause I'm sick of being treated like I had before Like a stupid standing for what I'm standing for Like this war all right, guys, welcome to Wide Awake News Radio. I'm your host, Charlie McGrath. It is the 26th day of September, uh, Wednesday. And what a day it is. You know, uh, just a minute here, we're going to have uh, Dan Manorino uh, joining us, and uh, he's got a lot of good things uh, to come on here and share with us. Uh, outstanding YouTube channel. I didn't realize uh, until I dug a little deeper uh, that he's such an accomplished uh, author as well, but we're going to get into this here in a minute. Um, <clears throat> one story that is hardly being talked about, and, and I wanted to just kick it off with this and then bring Greg on, um, is what's going on inside of Europe right now. Now, it's almost like a news blackout, and, and what little bit of news is coming out is certainly uh, swayed by the mainstream media. Like, like we've seen inside of... Uh, uh, Greece, when when we saw people protesting there way back uh, for the last couple of years, we immediately had the media coming out saying they're just a bunch of lazy people from Greece, and all they want is to retire when they're you know 18 years old, and they want everything handed to them. Don't feel sorry for the people of Greece. We see the exact same thing now happening uh, throughout Europe. In fact, in Madrid and in Greece, they're not only protesting, they're turning uh, bloody violent. And this shouldn't be a surprise, you know, as the theme has been over the last couple of days on the program, these central bankers, the, the Federal Reserve here, the European Central Bank, uh, obviously in Europe, they're all in. They're all in. And and I think it's, uh, it's coming to an understanding that these problems are not going to be solved by issuing more debt. We're certainly not going to create any more jobs. And in fact, more and more people are going to be asked to uh, submit to more harsh uh, austerity as we go down uh, this road. So to, to, to talk on this topic and uh, many other, let's bring on Dan, I mean, excuse me, Greg Manorino. And I'm trying to I'm trying to remember how to say his last name by saying Dan Marino, because it sounds like Dan Marino, Manorino. <laughs> the program. That's, that's a funny way to put it, but uh, I can understand that. Well, welcome to the program. I, it's, uh, it's a real pleasure and honor to have you on here. Uh, oh, same way, thank you. Well, you're very welcome. Gregory Manorino is your YouTube channel. Is that correct? Uh, Gregory Manorino, uh, yes. Well, actually, Market Report, Gregory Manorino Market Report, okay. which I do daily, um, seven days a week. Um, maybe I'm crazy. I don't know. I think you're crazy. Yes, I'm definitely crazy. But I feel very strongly about these things, as I'm sure you do, too. Uh, um, the work you do is, frankly, amazing, really. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fight through it tonight because as a – uh, Greg and I were talking right before the program. Uh, both of us are coming off of one ailment or another. So it's got to be interesting. It's got to be an interesting uh, hour. Yeah. But, you know, they, I, I know, I, I know periphery, uh, you know, about your, your uh, YouTube channel. I've watched uh, several of your videos. I didn't realize uh, until I dug a little deeper that you're quite an accomplished author as well. Yeah, I've, I've written a bunch of books regarding these topics. As a matter of fact, I've discontinued them all, and some people think I'm crazy except for one. I, I kind of took all my books and summarized them and took the you know, the most important points and expanded on them in a new book called The Politics of Money. It, uh, it just came out, but it's doing very well. I'm very happy to say that. People seem to be appreciating it, and it makes me good to feel appreciated. Well, I appreciate you, man. And let's get into the, uh, the politics of uh, – well, first of all, before we do – um, mm -hmm. Can I get your commentary on what I just opened the program with? That, that we're seeing, we're seeing violence uh, really start to to swell inside of Europe. Uh, I, I truly feel that we're, you know, I, I'm not kidding. I believe they're all in. I don't think they have any more answers. And I think that uh, the realization that the end game is going to be, you know, devastation for economies around the world. Uh, I, I think we're going to see a continued escalation of this protest and of this violence. Um, what are your thoughts on that? 
I agree 100 percent. I've been speaking about this for the longest time. This is just the beginning. As a matter of fact, what I've been telling my subscribers and, and my members is look at what's going on over there, because it's going to happen right here in the United States is coming right to your front door. As a matter of fact, it's going to be much worse, much, much worse for, for many, many reasons. And I have a lot of European friends, and I speak to them almost on a daily basis. And just going back to what you said earlier, it is a complete media blackout. It's yeah. insane. And um, I hear from my friends, like I said, almost on a daily basis who are over there, and they're like, Greg, you have no idea of what's really going on here. Um, there are people starving. They're, it's It's like a third world country in many parts of Europe right now. And it's very scary. I mean, to have that much power, how can they block this stuff out of the mainstream media? Well, why do they do it, I guess, is the better question. I think it's to simply affect perception. Perception of the people is what really matters. It's not It's not the facts. It's what, what people perceive to be facts at this particular time. And, yes, we are at the end game. There's no doubt about it, and there are no solutions. Whatever they're trying to do will not work. The root cause of the problem and something you cover all the time is debt. They cannot fix a debt problem with more debt. It's completely bizarre that people are actually, you know, buying into this. How can they, how can they believe that's going to fix a problem? I don't get it. Well, I, you know, I, I don't get it either. And, you know, I've commented over the last uh, several weeks, you know, and actually several months that here, here, you know, we get into this political season again and how many, you know, I, I'm like you. I talk to a lot of people all over the world, and uh, you know, I hear the stories of devastation. Yet, uh, the people I deal with on a day-to-day -day basis in my you know circle of uh, friends and family, it, it it blows me away on how gullible you know even people that I know that I talk to about these things. You know, they want to grab onto well, Romney's going to come in and fix it. No, he's not. We're yeah. going to get the exact same thing. Mm -hmm. There's no solutions to this. If there were, they would have implemented them already. We understand. We understand that. And the easiest way I think to put this is, is we're at the end of, of being able to acquire any more debt on a global level. And we're starting to see currency wars. We're starting to see social unrest. This is going to lead to greater regional wars, no doubt about it. And then I believe global war. I do too. Yeah, because why? Well, the petrol dollar is being threatened at this time. And most people don't even know what the petrol dollar is. I do outline this at length in my book here. But most people, I, I say that. Do you know what the petrol dollar is? And people go, uh, no, I have no idea. I think the problem with, with what people ha are having a hard time understanding is this. They're saying it's, well, especially here in the United States, they're saying, hey, you know what? I can still buy things for my family, even though it's becoming more expensive. I can still support myself. This is for the most part. We understand that these lies from the government about the numbers regarding unemployment and inflation, they're sure. out of control. But people – Yeah, no, and, and you're right. The, people – you know, I, I touched on this a bit last night with John Rubino. People want – you know, there's this normalcy bias. But yes. people want it. They want to be uh, – they want to be assured that everything is going to be okay because, you know, maybe they have 100,000, 200, 500,000. Uh, in a 401k or some kind of uh, retirement plan, and they just don't want to believe that this could all come crashing down. That's the truth. And I think the other thing that most people, by and large, the average guy, the average, average girl, that they do not understand as their, their bills that are in their pockets, they're really a tradable asset. People don't think of it that way. They don't think of their money or their cash because it's not real money. Gold and silver are real money. They don't think of this as an asset that is actually being destroyed with purpose at this particular time. You know, the, the most amazing concept, and I think that a lot of people aren't talking about right now, and I mean, I talk about it all the time, is the massive amounts of inflation that are going to be coming. And that is when people are going to start to wake up. As a matter of fact, as you know, this new announcement of QE3 into infinity oh, was, oh. Just, was just put out. And what, what, what they're leaving out of the equation and they're not telling anyone and they're not even talking about it is the Federal Reserve at this particular time is now sidestepping any concerns regarding inflation. They, they're, they, they don't even care how it's going to affect it. They're simply going to be purchasing mortgage-backed securities at $40 billion a month irregardless, regardless of what the outcome is. Right. To inflation. It's you know, and, and let me ask you, uh, because you know th this is something you cover – very thoroughly, and every single day you're talking about this. Mm -hmm. were, were they 
were they taken aback by the lack of optimism that came out of the Jackson Hole QE3 to infinity? QE3, misnomer, right? There's no such thing as yeah, QE3. Really. It's going to be QE infinity. Mm-hmm. Do, do you think, I mean, is are people shocked that we have not seen a bounce and, in fact, we're going the other way? Well, you know, I was talking about for the longest time how it was being pressed into the markets. And as a matter of fact, you know, I was one of those out there that said this was going to happen. It took a lot of heat for that. From right. Some- Believe it or not. Well, hang t- you- Greg, hang tight. I, I, I asked you that question too late. We're, we're going to take our first break, but I want you to cover that on the backside of this break. We're going to be back with Greg Manorino in more yeah. Wide Awake News Radio in three and a half minutes. Hang tight. Hey guys, it's Charlie McGrath with WideAwakeNews.com and Wide Awake News Radio. You know, it was 1999 when the Dow Jones first crossed the 10,000 point mark. Back then, our national debt was $6 trillion. You could buy an ounce of gold for around $250 and an ounce of silver for around 5 bucks. Now, there's a lot of folks in alternative media and mainstream media asking the question, when are we going to see the next financial crisis? Well, for myself and the folks over at Austin Rare Coin, we believe that time is now. It's called sovereign debt fiat currency crisis. Now, let's review 1999, 10,000 points on the Dow, 2012, after trillions of dollars being spent, 13,000 points. We've seen our national debt explode from $6 trillion to nearly $16 trillion. Gold from $250 an ounce to over $1,600 an ounce. And silver from $5 to over $30 an ounce. Gold and silver, that is planet Earth's currency. It has been for 5,000 years. It will be for the next 5,000 years. If you have wealth you're trying to protect, I highly recommend and encourage you to call Gay Belt and the folks over at Austin Rare Coin, 1-800-552-4109. They support alternative media. They support getting the truth out, so let's support them. Austin Rare Coin, 1-800-552-4109, or visit them online, austincoins.com. Remember this name, Carnivora, that's C-A-R-N-I-V-O-R-A dot com. What if I told you that this 100% pure and natural product was delivered directly to the White House at President Reagan's personal request at a time when only the President was able to obtain it? Reagan used this amazing product, Carnivora, successfully, a product derived only from nature that has the intelligence to instinctively attack abnormal cells only without harming a single normal cell, and the power to actually wake up critical immune cells from dormancy to attack foreign invaders that don't belong in our bodies. Carnivora is now obtainable by anyone who wants to get healthy and stay that way. Call 1-866-VENUS-FLY and protect yourself with 17 naturally occurring compounds that will unleash powerful immune defense. That's 1-866-VENUS-FLY. Call 1-866-VENUS-FLY and get your Carnivora today. Visit Carnivora.com. Will 2012 bring the Mayan end of world or the global banking collapse? In 2007, one man, Mike Dillard, made five predictions which forecasted the 2008 economic crisis and the pending Eurozone collapse. This week, Mike unleashes three brand new, shocking, must-watch videos with predictions for the coming year. www.the3videos.com Over the past year, Mike Dillard has helped thousands of ordinary people create and recover wealth by tapping into the black box investing strategies the big banks don't want you to know about www.the3videos.com As the European banking system implodes and governments collapse at breakneck speeds, the next 12 months will be the most anticipated and important months in modern human history. This will make 2008 look like a walk in the park. Everyone will be affected. Go to www.the3videos.com now. Learn how to prepare your family and prosper during the global financial collapse. All right, guys, welcome back to Wide Awake News Radio. I'm Charlie McGrath. Our guest is Gregory Manorino, uh, who is the Market Watch on YouTube, correct? That's all I have to put in there? 
That's right. All right, Market Watch on YouTube. He's also an author. His no, Market latest... Report. I'm sorry, I got oh. confused. Market Report. No, we were talking about the Market Watch during the break. That, that's that's right, my right, fault. Right. I should have, I should have that written down. <laughs> we were talking about an article that was on Market Watch today about uh, the the destination of QE3, and you know Goldman Sachs came out today saying it's going to be two trillion plus dollars. Uh, Gregory, I, I think you and I agree. By the way, is it Gregory or Greg? Which one do you go by? You call me whatever you like. That's right, because we're long lost brothers. We found out. That's right. During the break. That's right. We are. Even though my people, the Irish, we we can't uh, we can't pronounce all those uh, continents in in uh, in one uh, last name. So if it ends in a vowel, rather, we have a tough time saying that name. So, uh, but uh, we're, we're talking during the break about the destination for QE three, and you know what? Here's the thing: it, a lot of people get bored about hearing about this all the time, over and over again. In fact. Uh, the video I put out last night, I, I had a few comments about people talking, uh, you know, you're talking about collapse, you're talking about devastation, and we've heard this, you know, for the last several years. And, you know, I, I, I don't even know, I don't even waste my time to, to respond to these uh, to these comments anymore because, look, if you can't see it, if you can't see the writing on the wall right now, then it's already too late for you. I mean, it's a, you're going to be hit like a freight train, Gregory. You know, it's funny. I use that same analogy all the time with the freight train. There's a screaming freight train. It's coming right at us. That's and what right, we're right. Yeah. And, and right now, this is this is why I think this is so important. Shows like yours is right now. People have a choice as to where they want to be. You want to stand in front of that freight train and just get a sidestep it. You can sidestep it just by opening your eyes, having an understanding of how this whole system really works. People don't understand how money works. And it's it's so incre- incredible because it's the, it's the medium of exchange, cash, but people don't understand it. They just say, oh, I have some of these and I'm going to go do this with that or I'm going to do that. You don't, they don't have no conception of how it works behind the scenes and how it's really just an asset that people trade and they manipulate. We understand what the central banks of the world are doing. It's, un- it's incredible. Right now, we've never seen anything like this in the history of the world, Charlie, as you are aware. Right, right. And... and this is the end game. I am certain of this more than I've been certain about anything else in the history of my life, that we are now at the end of this debt acquisition cycle. The, the, we are witnessing history that the death of currency is upon us and the, the sensual banks have no recourse but now to become the lenders of last resort and keep this thing pumped up until the cows come home. Well, when the cows do come home, that debt bubble is going to burst. And when that debt bubble bursts, it's going to be the game changer of them all, a historical moment that is going to leave a, a vast majority of the population dead. That's it's, As a matter of fact, I, I address this at length all the time. And even in my book, I talk about how the popping of the debt bubble, Charlie, is worse. Maybe I say on par, but I would think it's worse than a nuclear exchange with regard to human suffering and, and, and death. Well, why is that? It's a very simple concept. We've borrowed from the future to live a better now, right? Right. And that bill is due, and we can't pay that bill. So what is that going to do? That's going to cause resources to become very scarce for for tens, if not hundreds of millions of people. They're not going to be able to eat, drink. And what is that going to cause? Violent crime, just like we're seeing. Well, riots first, and then violent crime. And, and, and Absolutely. And, and, if, and, and this, I mean, seriously, this is... You know, two nights in a row now of people who live this. This is their life. Mm-hmm. And, and even, you know, the closer uh, I get with interviews to the mainstream, more and more people are saying the same exact thing, which is, you know, holy crap, this is happening. Yeah. Well, it's because people people who have their eyes open just need to just look around and see what's really going on. That's why we all see the same things. People say, oh, you know, you guys all sound alike. Well, why? Why do you think that is? Because we, you people like you and me and a lot of others out there are able to see through the nonsense, cut through it all and say, look, this is what's really going on, everyone. Open your eyes now because your window of opportunity is closing rapidly. Look, and I, and I want to get into that. I want to get into what are you recommending people to do mm-hmm. uh, you know, with this window of opportunity. And and I'm sure that you cover this uh, in your book, The Politics of Money, yeah. uh, but give us a taste. Sure. Well, the, the first order of business is what? It is survival. So before people even begin to think of how they can protect their wealth, they need to have 
at least enough food stored for six months. Why do I say six months? Well, it's not just food, food, water, shelter, maybe a bug out plan, a way to defend yourself. Well, because this, we're going through a, a, a transition period. This transition period is going to be horrible for, for uh, the vast majority of the people who are going to be blindsided by this now. Most people only have maybe a week, a week's worth of food in their house. Well, if they're and, lucky. If they're lucky. I mean, some people are saying three days, four days, I don't know. Um, but then once once that is established, once you say, I can live off the grid here for, for six months and not have to go to the store, not worry about anything, because, again, when I spoke about this, is going to be violent crime in the street. There's going to be people rioting right here in the United States. Now, we understand, and this is something that we've spoken about as well, the, the, the U.S. dollar or currency as a whole is dying. The U.S. dollar is winning the race to the bottom. There's no doubt about it, in, in my opinion. Right. Um, as as horrid as the euro looks at this particular point, I'm more bullish on the euro than the U.S. dollar by far. I've done videos about it. I've spoken about why. Um, but anyway, just going back to what we were talking about before I go off on a tangent, which I tend to do. No, I do the exact same thing. We're, we're about – you know what? You know what? Let, and that, let's actually hold off uh, because we're going to do our second break. But when we come back, sure. you, you've laid down the groundwork. The first thing that everybody needs to do is be prepared. For, for the unpreparable. Be prepared for uh, chaos. Be prepared uh, for calamity. Now, the back side of this, we're going we're gonna to pick Gregory's mind on uh, what you should do if you have uh, assets or wealth that you want to protect uh, through this uh, coming storm. We'll be back after these short messages. Stay tuned. Hey guys, it's Charlie McGrath with Wide Awake News Radio and WideAwakeNews.com. In 2007, 26 million Americans were on food stamps. 2012, the numbers exploded to over 46 million people relying on the government to put food on the table. Debt's out of control across the planet, pushing us towards a financial Armageddon. Talk of war seems to fill every newscast. And disasters, both man-made and natural, seem to be on the rise. Can you think of a better time in history than now to be prepared for the unexpected? Guys, I want to introduce you to our new partners in alternative media. BuyEmergencyFoods.com BuyEmergencyFoods.com offers the best kind of emergency food, Legacy Premium, with the largest variety available in the freeze-dried food industry. Each meal is packed for freshness in an individual nitrogen-flushed Mylar pouch. The meal is then sealed in a stackable, heavy-duty plastic container that's easy to store, easy to transport, and won't be damaged by water or rodents. So if you're worried about food inflation, economic crisis, unemployment, natural disaster, then don't delay. Prepare your family now. Visit our new partners in alternative media, buyemergencyfoods.com. Give them a call at 888-543-7345, or again, visit them at buyemergencyfoods.com. You're listening to Charlie nationwide and worldwide on the Internet on the Rents Radio Network. Are you in debt, having sleepless nights, sick of constant creditor phone calls, want a guaranteed solution? Become a member of DebtorManagementSystems.com and we will take all of your creditor calls. That's right, we'll manage all of your creditor calls. Go to DebtorManagementSystems.com and join up today. Or call 855-332-8782. That's 855-332-8782. Join today and take the stress out of your life. Are you having trouble paying your mortgage? Maybe your mortgage loan is upside down or in foreclosure. Maybe the bank already foreclosed on you. Don't be a victim of bank fraud. Fight back. Here's how. Go to InspectorAudit.com and find out the truth about your loan. Did you know that 78% of the loans in the last 10 years violated consumer credit laws? We should not let the banks get away with that kind of fraud. Go to inspectoraudit.com or call 855-373-4948. That's 855-373-4948. And start fighting bank fraud today. 
Heart-related health problems affect millions of people each year. Maybe you're one of the many who suffer from issues related to angina pain, high blood pressure, congestive heart failure, unbalanced cholesterol, irregular heartbeat, or clogged arteries. There is a solution that doesn't involve expensive prescription drugs that only mask the problem and leave you with horrible side effects. If you are ready to live your life free of sickness, pain, and fear, live your life with increased vitality, energy, and youthfulness, and experience Experience your body healing itself. Then you're ready for Heart and Body Extract from Healthy Hearts Club. Heart and Body Extract has a 23-year proven track record of using certified organic herbs that make up an excellent formula to balance and support the heart and circulatory system. In as little as two weeks, you can feel amazing results when your two-month supply of Heart and Body Extract today. Call 1-866-295-5305 or go to hbextract.com. Guys, welcome back to Wide Awake News Radio. We have uh, a, a very uh, renaissance man on the phone with us, or uh, uh, as a guest tonight on Skype with us actually right now. And you know, he, he's uh, not only is he an author, not only does he uh, uh, cover the markets better than anybody else, but he's also a uh, phys- physician's assistant. Which, you know, here, here's the deal. Hey, hey, Gregory, I know we we need to get into you know how to prepare for what's coming, but. I am so sold on physicians' assistants and nurse practitioners uh, because they actually, as, as far as uh, you know, medical professionals I've dealt with, they seem to listen more than than uh, than your regular doctor. Certainly more. Uh, the luck I've had is with with practitioners or uh, or assistants. I appreciate hearing that. I really do, and I hear that from a lot of people. As a matter of fact, you know, I don't. I don't know why that is. Um, either I don't either. You know, and it's. Uh, I mean, it's nice because you can go in and you can, you know, tell your your uh, PA what's going on, and and you're shocked when they sit back and go, "Well, tell me a little bit more," and then. <laughs> but he was giving me some free uh, solicited advice during the break, and and uh, you know that that's how I got onto this topic. But yeah. but let's get back into your book. Sure. Uh, you know, the politics of money. Well, you know, just going back to what we were talking about, okay, after after you, you know, plan how you're going to survive with, with regard to, you know, having enough food and water and enough for at least six months and then and say, OK, you know what? I have assets that I want to protect, whatever it might be. Um, I, the main thing people need to do, Charlie, is get out of the dollar. Get out. As a matter of fact, all fiat currency, but specifically right now, the U.S. dollar. The U.S. dollar is a is, is in a terrible spot right now. We understand what's going on. Money printing, the likes of which we've never seen in the history of the world since, since 2008. And it's going to continue into oblivion. So what do you want to do? Well, give the Federal Reserve, the United States, back their fiat money. They want it anyway. It's just an IOU. We understand that, you and I. It, it, it doesn't represent wealth at all. It's just, it's a unit of debt. End of story, period. Well, you can convert that into real wealth very simply. Just acquire gold and more specifically silver. I am the biggest probably silver advocate in the history of the world. I think silver is the most undervalued asset in the history of the world. And just to put, put it into perspective for, for you, and then we spoke about this, I am all in with regard, with regard to, uh, to silver. I have holdings, I have, I have many assets, but I would have to say that for the, for the most part, silver is the one that I have the vast majority of. Yeah, well, uh, you know, and, and I like you. I, in two, you know, in, in this story I, I've told, but not for a long while. So if uh, we have any new listeners, they haven't heard this. But w- what started my march onto YouTube and uh, and then eventually onto Rinse Radio was listening to people like Gregory and, and other folks in alternative media, and then seeing this this coming uh, collapse calamity uh, in two thousand six, two thousand seven, plus you know being a Part and parcel of the problem, you know. I, I've been in this building industry uh, for 20 years, so you know I, I made money. I made good money uh, on this run-up, on this bubble economy. But once I saw how it all worked, and then listened to people that said this is all going to come apart, um, I decided in 2000, uh, late 2007, to get as much money uh, out of the market as is humanly possible, legally possible, 
you know, without quitting my day job to do it. So I, I took out as much as I could. And sure enough, 2008, we see this uh, massive uh, collapse. And, and at that time, I believe I was paying uh, eight bucks an ounce for silver. And, and, I, and I haven't looked back. I mean, I haven't looked back, uh, uh, not one day, not one regret. In fact, you know, people are celebrating Dow 13,000. Let's not forget, we were above that in the year 2008. Mm-hmm. Well, how did we get back there? We got back there by the biggest round of manipulation that has ever been seen in the history of the world. What's going on here is it's so well obvious to me. It's 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 incredible. We have is Federal Reserve manipulation of the markets to such a degree that you don't know what is real and what is fake anymore. You, we had QE1, QE2, Operation Twist, Operation Twist Squared. Now this, this QE3 into infinity, right. which is going to evolve into more things as well. All this has done is allowed the Federal Reserve to front run the markets. By front run the markets, what I mean is, is allowing institutional investors to borrow cash at zero and then speculate with it in the markets. Not just speculate with it in the markets, but leverage it through derivatives to, 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 to the ridiculous amounts. And it's it's creating a bubble. All, all the Federal Reserve is allowed to happen again is a reinflation of the equities bubble. Now, it's been nice for a lot of people out there. You know, you even hold equities that are, you know, maybe just an average guy and average girl. But what is being set up right now, in my opinion, and I know a lot of people are already trying to take advantage of it, and I'm not saying I'm not one of them, they're going to start shorting all this. And as the market, as this bubble in equities burst, we'll make more money. As the bubble bursts, than when it rose, and that's a fact. A lot of of people are already setting themselves up. That businesses, corporations, well, the government. We understand. If you, the, the easiest way to capitalize on this this bursting of the equities bubble is because it's all linked to the debt bubble. It's linked to the dollar bubble. Is to be betting against currency. It's and it's the most sure bet in the history of the world, Charlie. And how do you do that? Again, it goes brings us full circle. Hold precious metals. Period. In, and that's. I mean, that's what you're doing. That's your strategy. Is your, and I'm assuming all physical. Well, yeah, that, that's a main part of my strategy. I mean, here's the thing. You know, I've been involved in this for for over two decades. So I'm, I'm a savvy guy. I know what to do. I know how to put my money in certain types of assets that will pay off as well. Yes, but my my greatest holdings by far is in precious metals, more specifically silver. Mostly, I have some gold. But I, I, I definitely have. Well, I would say my ratio of silver to gold uh, is about eighty twenty. Wow. Um, I definitely have a lot more silver. Where do you see it going? I mean, what you know, you, you heard me say uh, two thousand eight, eight bucks. Here we are at thirty five ish. Where do you see mm-hmm. it going? Oh, at a, at a minimum, I put price targets on my book, and I outline exactly why, with I think logic, where it's going to go. I think at a minimum, we're looking at uh, at physical silver at three hundred an ounce. It could easily go to five hundred. Um, I'm, I'm thinking gold is, is going to top out somewhere around 8,000 yeah. and that can go higher too. I mean, it's really, it's, it really should be gauged like this, Charlie, how low is the dollar going to go? That, that's a good point. And, and I, whenever I ask that question, I always catch myself thinking, you know what? I'm asking somebody to gauge it in a fiat dollar. So it's really yeah. irrelevant. No, but I know what you're saying. I mean, you know, I, I guess you could say how many, uh, you know, of a certain you know asset, can, will you be able to buy with your silver and your gold? Exactly. I mean, yeah. You know, we we are moving, and this is part of the transition. We we there has to be a new monetary system. It's already in the works. We already understand that, and they know the people at the highest levels of government. Believe me, they're not stupid. They understand that this cannot work and it cannot go on forever. But what are they doing, Charlie? It's very scary. They're they're continuing to inflate this bubble in debt with purpose. Now, why would they do that? Are they insane or are they brilliant? I guess that depends on what side of the equation that you're on. If you're on the side of the equation that understands how this is going to play out and when the debt bubble bursts, what that's going to do to currency, well, you're going to become extremely wealthy. If you're on the opposite side of that equation and have no idea what's going on and how to protect yourself, you are going to be fleeced to the point of ridiculousness, to the point of absolute destitution and desperation. I don't care how much cash people might. I don't care if you have $100 million in cash laying around. You will be nearly broke at the end of this. Yeah, that's a terrifying prospect. And it isn't like you have to take Gregory's word for it or my word for it or anybody else's word for it other than 
the people who have their finger on the printing press. Mm. Bernanke, Draghi, they've they've come out. I mean, these are the two. Uh, these are the big hitters on planet Earth as far as a fiat currency. And they've come out and said exactly what they're going to do. There's not going to be an end to the amount of quantitative easing that they're going to partake in. And, and they don't care about inflation either. And they don't care what this is going to do to inflation at this particular point. They need it. They need inflation. They need this thing to spiral into hyperinflation uh, in order to keep, uh, you know, to, to keep the can going down the road even another six months. And I think this is why. And this, again, brings us full circle. I don't, I'm a why guy. I always like to sit back and say, why is this happening? Why is that happening? Why are they... Why has the United States become a police state, Charlie? Why are the police being militarized? Oh, that's a great, great question. And it's exactly what we're going to pick up uh, mm-hmm. after our, our uh, last break. Gregory uh, Manorino. <laughs> Dan Marino. We're going to be yeah. back uh, with Brother Gregory. <laughs> In, uh, in a very uh, short few minutes, guys. Hang tight. We'll be right back. Hey, guys. It's Charlie McGrath of WideAwakeNews.com and Wide Awake News Radio. 2%. This is the number that the federal government wants you to believe represents inflation in our country. 2%. Now, maybe that's true if we back out necessity items we need just to live, such as energy and food. But the fact of the matter is, I don't have to tell you food prices are on the increase. They have been for years, and it's going to continue to rise. The real question is, are we getting better quality food for this increase in price? According to the CDC, the answer is no. A March 2012 report shows foodborne illnesses are on the rise. Guys, we are so lucky to have the folks at SeedsNow.com as sponsors of Wide Awake News Radio. Not only are Chris and the folks at SeedsNow.com offering thousands of non-GMO, non-hybrid, non-Franken food seeds that can go out the door today, they're looking into the future as well and offering outstanding values on things such as the Mini Mega Seed Bank with over 48,000 seeds and the Mega Super Survival Seed Kit with over 58,000 seeds. SeedsNow.com is a sponsor of Wide Awake News Radio because they care about alternative media and they care about getting the truth out. So let's support those that support alternative media. And if you go there today and put in the promo code WIDEAWAKE10, you will receive an instant 10% discount on all your orders. So please visit SeedsNow.com and use the promo code WIDEAWAKE10 to receive your discount. If you're taking one, two, five, or more nutritional supplements, please stop. Simplify your supplementation with Bio Superfood, the most advanced nutritional whole food supplement you can buy. Men, women, children, even Olympic athletes the world over have discovered Bio Superfood from BioAge.com. And now take just one nutritional supplement instead of many. The Bio Superfood formulas are whole food products composed with four of the most nutrient dense algae found on Earth. Bio Superfood for the brain helps with focus, memory, clarity, and mood. If you can increase brain health, the rest of the body, is a no-brainer. Bio Superfood has zero toxicity and is safe for you and your family. Learn more and order your Bio Superfood formulas at BioAge.com spelled B-I-O-A-G-E dot com. BioAge.com or call 877-288-9116 That's 877-288-9116 BioAge The Age of Advanced Organics Hi, this is Jeff Rents. Royal Raymond Reif was without question the most gifted medical scientific genius of our age. He discovered that most disease-related microbes die quickly when exposed to their own specialized resonant radio frequencies. The BCX411 Reif type frequency instrument has received the highest praise on several continents for its precision, simplicity of operation, and successful research experiment. The BCX, with its comprehensive manual, allows you to select the frequencies you wish to experiment with for the length of time you want to run them. The BCX handheld plasma ray tubes and RF radio carrier wave, like Rife use, are the absolute state-of-the-art in Rife frequency research. For full information and pictures, take the New Earth link at the top of Rents.com. Settle for nothing but the best in Rife research with the BCX 411. Again, just take the New Earth link at the top left corner of Rents.com. Make a promise, take a vow. Trust your 
Guys, welcome back to Wide Awake News Radio. Charlie McGrath, your host. Our guest is Greg Mananino. <laughs> Man- Mananino. Let's say it. Manarino. <laughs> I'm, I'm blowing this name up. I'm sorry about that, Greg. You're not the first, and you won't be the last. Yeah, how, why is it so hard? I mean, M double M A double N A. You know, it's just too Italian. I'm too Irish. This this won't, this won't work. Um, <laughs> where, were, where were we at before the break? Before we went back into the medical field, and and I'm taking. Yeah, some and, we were talking about this, this the police state. The yeah, police well, yeah. State. What, that was the question you posed brilliantly. I'm gonna mm-hmm. turn it over to you. You're gonna have about uh, about ten minutes to lay this all out for us. Uh, yeah. The question uh, Gregory posed before the break was, ask yourself simple simple things. Why on earth are we seeing this uh, build-out of the security industrial complex in, in the United States of America, uh, namely, but uh, uh, really around the world? Why is this happening, Gregory? Well, let's just look around the world and see what's going on. We're seeing more and more social unrest. It's it's completely bizarre what is going on here. You know, just going back real quick to this thing that we're seeing now over here with uh, you know the riots over in the Middle East and uh, you know do you, do we really believe this is because of a movie? I, I don't believe it. I'll be honest with you. I think it's because they're just sick and tired of you know being oppressed and seeing what what the United States is doing, with the United States military policies with regard to the Middle East. I mean, this is why we're hit. There's nothing to do with a movie. Maybe the movie had a little to do with it, yeah. but that that social unrest that's gonna that's gonna get worse. I'm sure of it. You got what's unfortunately, and I hate to have to say this because I have so many European friends that are are, are suffering so badly right now um, over there, and the, the riots that are going on. I was talking to one of them earlier in the day, and he's like, "Greg, you have no idea what's going on here." He's like, what you're seeing, even on YouTube, doesn't even reflect as to what's happening. People are being beaten in the street, clubbed over the head, being sent to the hospital. Um, it's out of control. I mean, you can say the people are up, uprising. This is going to happen everywhere here in the United States. And this is why the police state is being set up. Why the bank, I, I think it's billions of yeah. rounds. How, yeah. how many pounds of ammunition? Well, hundreds, are of, hundreds of million of rounds of 40 caliber hollow point human shredder ammunition by every, exactly. every single agency, including Social Security, including. Uh, what Noah's out there buying ammunition? I mean, it's it's insane. It, the the buildup is happening before our eyes, and, and we're yeah. and we're focusing on the NFL. Yeah, exactly. What are they preparing for? An invasion, or are they preparing to take action against the people? I mean, is that what they're preparing under? Because they know the people are going to rise up. Of course, they are. Will pe- the, pe- the people are being crushed every single day by 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 our government, by an organization known as the United States Federal Reserve? There's nothing federal about it. Who's robbing us blind every single day by paying us negative interest on on our interest earning accounts? They're paying. Think about it, Charlie. You know yeah. this. They're paying interest less than the projected rate of inflation. That's right. On interest, they're the stealing country. every single day. They're stealing. Uh, you know, not your money, but they're stealing uh, uh, your hard labor. Let's put it that exactly. way. In the terms of your life, your actual being, you're trading for uh, these fiat dollars. They're stealing that from you. Yes. And if you don't spend your cash as soon as you get it, it becomes worth less a week or two, a month down the line. What the Federal Reserve is doing right now, well, first of all, we understand they reinflated this equities bubble. They're trying to reinflate a housing bubble by buying the mortgage-backed securities. Well, you know, I have, I don't think it's going to work because why? It's inflation is a major factor in this entire thing. It's going to backfire. I've been talking about this. Look at it already. It's we're already seeing a pullback in the markets. I said this was coming last Saturday. I told friends of mine and my uh, subscribers. I said. Think about getting your money out of the markets. And over the past few days, let's say Monday, we dropped, what, 25 points. Right. Uh, yesterday, 100 and something, 101, I believe. Today, another 40 something or other. Um, you know, oh, it's, it's getting ready so- to pop. I mean, it just seems like it's, uh, you know, we're, we're going to dabble through may- maybe the ne- in the next month or so. Uh, but, uh, you know, look at the unrest in Europe. Look at what's going yeah. on with the beating of the drums of war in the Middle East. Uh, yeah, and just going back to what we were talking about, the police. Stay here. I know we're getting sidetracked here, but we have cameras on every corner. We have police that are being militarized in every state. What's the matter? The regular police aren't any good. They have to arm them with military vehicles, military weapons, military training. Drones. Drones. Drones that can see you in your house, Charlie. Right. They can see you and your children. And, you know, it's it's bizarre what is going on at this time. People just need to open their eyes and look around and see what's going on here, and they can understand it just by having one or two days of being wide awake. 
That's it. Uh, you, 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 and that's a problem. See, we we talked about that uh, during one of the breaks. That that it is it's it's a boggling of the mind that happens when you do this. You know, and, and I'm sure you guys in the chat room, you guys listening on Rants or on YouTube later on here, you know, you you, you run into the same thing where you, you lay out the truth to somebody, uh, and it, it, it it's boggling uh, to you how they can hear this truth and, and then just go on about their business, worrying about you know the the will we have the refs back by week four? Uh, the, the, the thing is, once you tune in to somebody like Gregory's uh, YouTube channel, listen to his blog or this program or something like that, but once you turn that switch, you know, once it, it's flicked and you're awake or you start down the path of being awake, there truly is no turning back. And you're far better off to be knowing what's coming and being able to position yourself uh, for this freight train. It's not going to be easy regardless but you're at least not going to be sitting there completely and totally unprepared with your shorts down. Yeah, exactly. That's a, that's a good way of putting it. You know, what people need to understand is that the, the financial institutions out there, they don't care about anything except one thing, Charlie, and that is to pull a profit out of it. And, they, and you can do it either way, either by the market rising or the market plummeting. And, and, and there's always sacrificial lambs. I mean, you, you, want, you want to really talk about what's happening here. That You know, I used to work for Bear Stearns, as you know. Right. Um, I, I was a floor trader there. I, I was an analyst there. This is before this whole thing hit the fan, but I was there in the early 90s during the dot-com bubble. Right. And, right. you know, all it's about is how to capitalize on a situation, not about how it's going to affect people. But they don't care. None of it. It's, it's a, such a cold business. And that's all they're doing now, Charlie. They're thinking of how they can do this one thing. And this is something I've been talking about for the longest time. The middle class is not going to exist in a few years. We, the, since the crash of 2008, the, the aggregate public of the United States lost 38% of their wealth. This next collapse, which is coming, is going to take the rest of it. The middle class is going to be history. We're going to a two-tier society. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. And, you know, 46% uh, from 2007, I talked about this in this video I put out last night, that's the increase since 2007 of uh, 18 to 30 year old adults. These are full on adults. A 30 year old is an adult, and they're moving back home with mom and dad. 20 million plus uh, at this point right now, and that's just one anecdotal uh, piece of uh, statistic that shows where we truly are. This uh, ESM, the European Stability Mechanism, is now <laughs> anticipated to go. Go ahead. It's just as bad as quantitative easing. Yeah. Easing. Who's it easier for? That's what I want to know. Yeah, well, it's e it's easing uh, it's easing for the two bigs that one of which you used to be employed at, but now is no more. But it kind of really is because it's just been uh, folded over into. It's been absorbed by J.P. Morgan. That's right. Exactly. But you know, I mean, those Lehman Brothers and Bear Stearns—they were sacrificial lambs for the people. They knew what was going on. Do you know how many people took up short positions against those institutions, as, and they knew they were going to pop? They did it on purpose. Yeah, those yeah, and it isn't like these guys. It isn't like these guys are now in jail, right, for running this into the ground. They're just working at uh, J.P. Morgan or wherever. Of course. Oh, all right. All right, we got about two minutes left. So, so let me know. Tell me about your book and where I can get it. Oh, it's real simple. Um, well, right now it's only available on lulu.com. But the, the most simple thing is just go to my website, gregorymanorino.com, one word, Gregory Manorino, or just Google me or YouTube me. And, or, you know, I urge everyone, friend me on Facebook. I'd love to have friends, you know, let's, let's get this thing going. Let's get the word out. And people need to uh, pay attention to you, Charlie. And, you know, and just really try to get more people on the right side of this equation because, again, their window of opportunity is closing rapidly. Let's get into that. Since you were gracious enough to leave us a minute here, and, and I'm going to put your uh, uh, – GregoryManorino.com is, is the uh, his website. I'm going to put it into chat. If you're listening uh, on YouTube, uh, look down below in the more information area. I will have a GregoryManorino.com, a link to uh, his website there as well. Time frame. What do you say? What do you, what do you think we're looking at? I mean – are we three hundred dollars silver this time next year? Are we uh, riots in the streets this time next year? Are we rioting in the streets this time next month? Well, you know that that is the question. And here's my take on this, Charlie. It could happen at any time. As soon as there is a loss of faith in the currency, which is already happening, the U.S. dollar is losing its reserve status, and people start seeing the inflation, which is coming. It can happen overnight, and when it does, it's not going to be a slow burn, Charlie. It's going to happen over the period of a few weeks. And, and it's it's going to rock listen, people. Listen, everybody. Listen, listen, if you're hearing this and you listen to last night's program, John Rubino, right, MBA from New York University, has been in this game for 40-plus years. 
was uh, one of the original Euro dollar traders. Uh, we got Gregory Manorino, who's been you know working for Bear Stearns. He's been on the street, a very very educated individual. They're all saying the exact same thing. When this hits, it isn't going to be a oh my god! I got Jim Cramer telling me we got to have quantitative easing and things will get better. That was the sucker play. That was the bait and switch that happened in 2007, 2008. When this one goes apart, guys, there's not going to be any time. It's going to be, it's here, it's now. You, you either are prepared for it or you're not. Mm-hmm. That's it. A rapid crash. Rapid. Rapido. That's it. No doubt about it, my friend. Absolutely. Well, that's why, you know, I, I completely agree with your advice. Get Get into... Uh, precious metals if you have wealth to protect if you don't you know if you are sitting there with a bunch of uh, precious metals land whatever and you don't have basic necessity items to take care of yourself and your family your loved ones and a way to protect it well then you're already behind the eight ball so gregory said it perfectly make sure you have uh, you know the supplies you need to sustain yourself and your loved ones for an extended period of time and a way to protect it and if you have anything left after that get your dollars and turn it into something else as quick as you possibly can Absolutely. gregory Gregory Manorino, GregoryManorino.com. Thank you very much. We will get you on again. I, I really uh, enjoyed this interview, and I, and I want to get you back on. Thank you, Charlie. Me too. All right, man. Uh, guys, hang tight. We're going to be back here in uh, in about eight minutes, and I'm going to have Brian Tui on. And we're going to talk sports. I know that's going to blow a lot of people away, but he's going to he's going to show us how this thing, this whole system, uh, NFL, uh, NBA, Major League Baseball, the whole nine yards, it is one more bait and switch distraction that is rigged from the word go. We're going to talk with Brian here in about eight minutes, guys. Uh, hang tight. We'll be right back. Hey there. My name is Frank Bates. What I'm about to tell you in the next 60 seconds could get me in a lot of trouble. I just created a free video presentation at 123rens.com that exposes the electricity monopolies and government agencies for what they really are, incompetent lying crooks that are counting on your ignorance and fear to keep your power bills criminally high. Some have called this a conspiracy. Others have called it a cover-up. And you'll be shocked to find out how deep the conspiracy goes. My video at 123rens.com exposes the truth and shows you the secret of how I beat them and how you can beat them too. Watch the controversial video that thousands of other smart patriots have already seen in the last three months. Go to 123rens.com and discover one weird trick to slash your power bill and protect your home. Go watch my video now at 123rens.com before they force me to shut it down. Again, that's 123rense.com. Are you struggling to reclaim your health? Let me share my story quick. My nightmare of chronic fatigue... PTSD and autoimmune issues cost me everything. A bankruptcy, loss of home, even my wife walked out on me with no hope in sight. A miracle happened after hitting my lowest point. I discovered ion and RNA drops. It literally saved my life. I want to share my story with you and offer you a trial size mini bottle of RNA drops. Visit www.rnafreemini.com. Again, that's www.rnafreemini.com. It's time to take your power back now. You can also check out our ad online at rents.com. RNA drops. You're listening to the Rents Radio Network, nationwide and worldwide on the net and at rents.com.